In this video, I will explain how to print a layout. So to do that, you will go to this option here, print preview. And you will have here, like this is maybe a proposal of the print, but you can work your way into how it will look like. You can go to pitch to setup. And this is a page you want a portrait like this way or landscape this way. You want to adjust to 100% like normal size sometimes there are too much information to present and to adjust into 100 percent size so you want to fit into for example how many pages wide so let's say i want to fit everything into one page it's a small layout so i want to fit everything into one page and sometimes you want to fit only into five pages and what about the time scale here? So if you have like three years of projects or something, I want to fit time scale into also one page wide. So everything will be on one page. If you do not change this option, if you have too many columns, like too long time scale and you adjust to 100%, you will find that like page two will have the rest of the Gantt chart, which is not actually good for printing. So here how you fit time scale. What is your paper size? So if you choose A4, for example, you have like this size right now, you cannot fit the Gantt chart. Promovera will detect that. So I have here only table and Gantt chart. Now I'm scrolling, if you can realize. You can also click here. So this is a second page. So you can review here the second page. Now it's a Gantt chart. It will look something like that. So you don't want that, of course, in your print. And you can scroll like you know so this is for columns okay you can just go here because they are not the same like you cannot go to page two you can go to page two from here or from here so this is page three like that because it is like only tables or columns but for Gantt chart is like separate numbering but it of course you will not present this way so you go to a3 What about the margins? Like I want to maybe 1.5 centimeters from top, but I think 0.5 is fine. 0.5 is fine. Click OK. And the header. You want to have how many sections? These are the sections. So we have here four at the bottom. So how many headers you want to show like uh, three sections? but they are not shown here. So what is the height? So let's keep it one, for example. You can just um, customize it. So this is how you, it will look like. So now it's fine. This is a header. And include the headers on all pages. You want to show section divider or not. It's up to you. What do you want to write in each section of the three? So you can either click text, like a schedule update, write it on your own or you can have some of the template by Promavera. So you click modify. If you write the brackets, okay, so you can also like remove it. You can add variable from here. So I wanna select selected project name. I add variable. So what Promavera will do is they will go to check the project name and write it as it is. And also, what about the data date I run the program on? So I don't want to write this manually. I want to let Promovera detect that for me. And let's just separate them like that. Click. So now this is the data date. You can also mention something like data date by text. Click OK. So it will look something like that. You can also customize the text, like, you know, the italic or not, bold or not, the size, all formatting. Okay. Picture. So you can also select a, a Gantt chart legend or picture. You can choose it from your desktop or from your PC. If you want to show the logo, for example, of your company. Okay. And for footer, I choose here the chart, uh, Gantt chart legend. 
so it's not a text i just choose it as it is from promovera and it will reflect everything okay so this is for the header and footer i have also the options time scale start i prefer plan to start to minus one month so i can have like good visibility of the time scale time scale finish plan to finish plus one month you have also many options you want to start on the data date you want to start on current week custom date exactly specific date or you can make it semi-automatic where you want to say that i want to plan the start but maybe one month before so i can see the blue chart clearly otherwise the blue chart will come just right here so m for is for month so I had in the user in the admin preferences, I had M for months, I had some like abbreviations, you can change. So based on what you put here, it is it should be similar to what you put in the admin preferences. So I can put W, which is one week. I can put D, which one day, you know, H for hour. So M for month, Y for year and also plan to finish plus one month so here i can see this is a plan to finish around here and now it will give me some space here to write some text the description of the bar so it can be helpful what do you want to show in your print here so if you disable activity table it will not be shown here i can get it back okay and what about the grid lines so i want the grid lines as well to look like a table you want to present the cut chart or not okay so what about the profile and the spreadsheet so it depends on the layout you presented before you choose the print preview so click close and let's say i want to show the resource users profile go back to print preview and page setup go to options now you have extra option profile because you show it the resource used the profile before you go to print a preview so right click now you uh, you want to show profile so you got the idea now and click ok you can also print and choose your printer you can choose adobe pdf if you want to print everything into pdf and that's it this is for the print preview in Promavera P6